Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing and talking about the Lenovo P15 Gen 2 workstation laptop. Let's take a look at it. Starting out, this specific model is the Intel i7, 32 gig of RAM, a 1 terabyte PCI Gen 4 solid state with the RTX A3000 GPU. This machine is really for a CAD cam application, a heavy rendering application for someone that has to take their machine on the go. Pretty portable for what it is. It's a 15-inch laptop. Um, this model is the 1080p screen, 500 net brightness. It goes all the way up to 4K, um, Dolby Vision, HDR, all that stuff. This specific model is the Intel i7-11850H. 8-core, 16-thread CPU. This one has 32 gig of RAM, though it's being upgraded to 128 gig, which is the maximum amount you can get in this current chassis. It also has a 1 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD, and you can expand that up to two more drives, so a total of three uh, NVMe drives. And it also has the RTX A3000, it's NVIDIA's new Quadra line. Um, it replaced the the P, P5000, P6000, stuff like that. So this is a new A-series. Um, really, really strong, really fast chips. This is not a fully spec'd out version. Fully spec'd out, you're going up to the Intel i9 or the Xeon equivalent, 128 gig. If it's a Xeon, it's ECC memory. GPU all the way up to the A5000 GPU. Uh, you can't get the 6000 yet in the mobile chassis. Also has 2.5 gig onboard Ethernet. It also has the Wi-Fi 6 Wi-Fi card in it, so it's going to be you know top end speed for any kind of wireless applications. Screen wise, this has a 1080p 500 nit display Dolby Vision. Uh, you can get it 4K um, HDR screen. This one does not have that. This one weighs in at 6.3 pounds, so while it's not the heaviest 15 inch laptop, it still has some weight to it, but still very portable for what you get. IO-wise, this has two USB 3.1 ports on it. It has one USB-C, two Thunderbolt 4, one SD card reader, one built-in Ethernet, again, 2.5 gigabit, and one headphone jack. So let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. And this here. Lenovo's typically compact very well, so they're pretty high-end machines, especially the P-Series line. So in here, looks like we have power cable, and a large 230, I believe. Yeah, 230 watt adapter. Um, it is the Lenovo proprietary port here. It is not USB-C. It's their high power output port. So that is the AC adapter. Going further here. We've got standard paperwork and the laptop itself. Foam padding, always nice to see. So this is it. Uh, again, 15 inch laptop, sealed, plastic bag here, normal stuff, nothing too crazy. Pop this open here and get a fresh look at it. So yeah, not too heavy, you know, definitely heavier than a 15 inch MacBook. Um, not a ton heavier though, so here on the back side, we have the 2.5 gig port, uh, also the power adapter, and looks like three USB-C Thunderbolt ports. On the side, we got a full-size HDMI, a standard USB port with a SIM card on the side if you want to expand it for on-the-go network connectivity. On the other side, another USB and an SD card. So let's open it up. So yeah, there we go. It's a little of a laptop. Um, Pretty standard, you know, looks uh, very professional on the outside. Um, opening it up, you know, standard. Full 10 key, the privacy shutter up here to shut the webcam. Yeah, that's that's really it, you know, very clean, very simple. All Lenovo's are known for their great keyboards, so I'm, I'm sure this one won't disappoint. Performance-wise, this mobile workstation does very well. Looking here at some of the data, you can see how much faster this CPU is when compared to the Ryzen 3 4300U, which we knew it would be, and even an overclocked 8700K. Um, single thread performance, very good. Multi thread performance, very good. Um, we can tell it totally blows pretty much everything out of the water that we're comparing it to. Uh, moving over to the 3D aspect of it, the A3000 does very well. Looking at the Passmark 3D benchmark, you can see it totally destroys any kind of onboard um, that the Ryzen 3 has. Compared to a 1080 Ti, it falls short just a little bit on the 3D aspect. 
Moving over to the Blender render, you can see the performance difference. Whenever we're comparing GPUs, the 1080 Ti completes the render in 57 seconds, where the A3000 completes it in 52. And CPU-wise, you can see the 8700K overclocked completes the render in 258 seconds versus the 207 seconds on this i7. Whenever we're looking at kind of the control AMD Ryzen 3, it's there's obviously no, no comparison. Moving over to RAM performance, pretty run of the mill. CDR4 3200, nothing too exciting here. Looking at disk performance, however, it performs very well. You can see the results here on the screen. Big jump, big difference, all the way across the board, from 4K writes and reads, all the way down to just raw throughput, and even down into latency, does fantastic, especially when even compared to the SN750 that is in the Enthusiast build, does very well, very impressed with it. Wrapping up, this is a fantastic mobile workstation. It's gonna get the job done, it's in a nice package, 15 inch laptop, nothing too heavy, nothing too big, still very portable. Um, and will likely handle pretty much anything you throw at it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. If there's a test you'd like me to run, please let me know. I can incorporate that into the next test. And until then, I'll see you next time.